get our anatomy on. <laughs> let's get our anime on. What's happening, everybody? My name is Gigi, and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today, it's time for my September 2016 anime and manga pickups, along with my monthly favorites. And as you can see by the pile in the corner, it is kind of a small pile. Um, going to a convention, going to Disneyland, just got back from Disney World. I'm trying really hard to save money and I'm failing because I keep buying stuff. Um, right Stuff had a couple of great sales in September. There was a Disco Tech sale along with a Funimation sale. I have stuff from both. I have two boxes from Right Stuff that I, of course I forgot what I ordered and I haven't even opened them yet. And then I have this little pile right here. So should we get started? Let's get started. Let's get our anatomy on. <laughs> Let's get our anime on. So the first thing I got from the Disco Tech sale was Robot Carnival. This is unfortunately just on DVD. And this is a movie. Um, the slipcover is actually this, exactly the same as the box on the inside, so I'm not going to take it out of the packaging. Robot Carnival, I remember watching on Sci-Fi, like, so long ago, like, when Sci-Fi was actually spelled correctly. Um, and I don't remember much about it, but I know that I really liked it. Um, so this is a movie, it's, like, got a bunch of little short films in there. It does have an English dub to it, so I'm going to guess it's the same dub that it was before. A bunch of different directors, one of them that I know by name, but, uh, that's not surprising, because unless it's Iguhara, I really don't know. And, um, it has an Automata Saturnalia, a new essay about the film from Anime News Network's My Tool and the original trailer as special features on here. Yeah, there's nine animators in this movie about Robot Carnival. Again, I don't remember much about it at all, but I did really want to pick it up the next time there was a disco tech sale because I put it on hold the last time, so I was super pumped. This next thing I got, I got from Amazon. You're gonna be like, Gigi, why the fuck did you buy this? Well, I had to buy a manga for a giveaway winner and I couldn't just buy a manga. I had to buy something else, so I was looking for some cheap anime and I decided I'd go with Naruto Shippuden box set number two. This is the uncut version on DVD from Viz. Um, I still haven't started Naruto Shippuden. Here's the, here's, ooh, okay. I'm still on the original Naruto, and here's what the disc looks like. The disc arts are actually pretty cute. Um, but I do have the first box set of this. I'm trying to collect them all eventually, um, so I'm really not in a hurry to buy these, but it was cheap, and I was like, okay, well, I might as well just get it. And it's actually in really horrible condition, which sucks. And it was brand new, so I don't understand. Um, special features, voice actor feature at Sand vs. Leap, the Ship It In Quiz Show, interactive character relations chart, team guy, production art. There's three discs in here. It goes from episodes 14 through 26. And like I said, I haven't started Ship It In yet because I'm still in the original Naruto, so it's just something I needed. I couldn't just buy one thing, I had to buy something else, and this was the cheapest thing that I didn't have, so I got it. Don't judge me. Back to the discotheque sale, I got Flame of Rekka, the complete collection, and I actually knew nothing about this other than Nate, the old school otaku, picked this up, but he picked up like the actual old versions of this, and I was like, the way he described it made it sound interesting, so I always had it in the back of my mind, and then I didn't even know that Discotech was re-releasing it, so I was like, cool, I'm gonna get this. Um, so it says, it's about ninjas. Normally I don't like anime about ninjas, but it just sounded cool. There's 42 episodes in this, so it's a longer series, which is something I really like. It's also English dubbed, and it doesn't say there are any special features on here. Um, it is in a flippy case, like this, which is good that it's not in a stack pack. There are six discs of this and they all look exactly the same. And it smells like plastic, like really badly. Not as bad as those Strawberry Panic DVDs smelled. Do you guys remember that? But oh my god, it smells like plastic. Yeah, it's about ninjas and it's pretty old. Like from the 90s, I'm gonna guess. It's from... it's not even telling me. I don't know. Fuck it. I wanted to buy this, so I did. Do I really need an excuse by now? Don't understand why people still put DVD stickers on everything. I don't want to rush my nails. Why do you do this to me? I always end up spending way too much money in the discotheque sales. 
It used to be the, no the Nozomi and the Discotech sales, um, but lately Nozomi hasn't been coming out with anything that I've been interested in because it's all been Gundam. Um, so Discotech is now like my go-to company when I want to buy things. And so I started to collect Beelzebub. This is collection one. It is episodes one through 30, and this is the TV series. I think I watched like about half an episode of this on Crunchyroll at one point in time, and it's about like a baby demon comes in a flippy case. It is DVD only. I'm going to make an educated guess and say this is subtitled only. Yeah, most definitely subtitled only. And there are no special features to speak of. This is a longer series, so they're going to have to come up with another collection of this. And the tagline is, a delinquent and his demonic world-ending baby. How can you not like that? Daddy issues. So I can't wait to start this, actually. I've been wanting somebody to license this, and I'm super happy that Discotech picked it up. So yay. I wish it would come with a box, but you know, it's Discotech, it's not going to. Finally, the last thing I got from the Discotech sale, and trust me, I could have gotten a lot more, and I forgot to pre-order Boys Over Flowers, I forgot to pre-order Strike the Blood, because I'm an asshole, um, but I got Earl and Fairy. This is a complete series on DVD. I'm going to make an educated guess that this is subtitled only. Um, I know nothing about this, but look at these boys on the cover. Why do I need to know anything about it? Because look at these boys on the cover. It says, this doctor makes house calls Ooh, to the fairy world. Uh oh. Well, this is like a historical anime, um, something about a fairy doctor so she can communicate with fairies. There's 12 episodes on this, no special features to speak of, but look at these boys on the cover. I only got one art card with this. It was the Cross Ange one, which I have, so it's going to go in the trash. Before we started on these Right Stuff boxes, Amazon was having a weekly deal like that was all about Pokemon, and I was super broke, and I really wanted to get something else along with this, but I couldn't afford it. So this is the one that I got. It was the Pokemon Johto League Championships, and it says on the back, 18 hours of Pokemon action. I have been bugging Viz for fucking years to get the Pokemon series out in something other than those three episodes of DVD things. So now that they're coming out with them, I am so obligated to buy them all. I catch them all, yo. Um, I've never seen Johto, so this should be interesting. There's six discs in here. It is in a flippy case. And I'm positive this is only English dubbed. I'm not even gonna bother looking. Let's see if there are any special features. It doesn't say that there are. But there's 18 hours of Pokemon action, guys, in my quest to watch every episode of Pokemon that's ever been made. Um, first of all, I'm failing miserably because uh, I'm still on the Indigo League. But this will really help in my journey, the Johto journeys. It's a whole new world we live in. It's a whole new something something. Da -na 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 -na. With a brand new attitude, but we still gotta catch them all. Pokemon Johto. Don't ask how I know the theme song. Maybe I listened to it on Spotify. And I don't even think that's the right words for the theme song. Okay, so I have two packages from Right Stuff that I'm gonna live unbox right now. One of them is from the Funimation sale, and one of them is. I think the only manga that I bought this month. <laughs> I think this is the Funimation box right here. It's little. What does my tabby say? Time to binge. Call in sick tomorrow. We'll cover for you. You said that last time, and I did. And my boss was like, "You don't have any more sick hours, Gigi. You're totally gonna get rid of." Just kidding. My boss didn't say that. She's a cool boss, but I also didn't really call in sick, so whatever. Ooh, this is a pretty art card. The Eden of Grisaya and the Labyrinth of Grisaya complete collection. Also, some post-its. Um, I did actually get a $10 blind box in here because I pre-ordered Hunter Hunter and it wasn't 50 bucks, so I couldn't get free shipping. There was absolutely nothing else that I wanted that was $10, so I got a blind box and I actually got a good one because I don't have this and I've never seen this and it's a Blu-ray. It's a Detroit Metal City, all 12 episodes. It's from Sentai. Um, it says, heavy metal that's darker than black. <laughs> Uh, sicker than death and more brutal than death grind and thrash boils alive in acid. And that's just these guys' day job. 
the fuck? It's only English subtitled. It is from Sentai Filmworks, but it is on Blu-ray. I don't know what this is, but let me tell you, it looks fucking right up my alley. So good job on this $10 blind buy right stuff. You win at life for that. Definitely. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Okay, so remember the Right Stuff Blind Box video where I was like, what the hell is this Claymore thing doing? Well, Rights have actually contacted me on Twitter because they watched my video and they said somebody pulled something out of the wrong box. If I wanted to return it, just send something to customer service. And I was like, no, it's cool. I'll keep it. I was just very confused. Um, so thank you to Right Stuff for reaching out to me. It was really awesome of you. And now they follow me on Twitter. So I've, I've made it, guys. I've made it. So because I'm broke, I only ordered four things out of the Funimation sale. I'm broke. This is not cool to have Funimation sales when Gigi is broke. And the first thing I got was Black Butler Book of Murder. This is the OVA. It is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. And as of right now, this completes my Black Butler collection. I don't need to buy any more because there isn't any more. And I don't know nothing about this. I'm still stuck in season two of Black Butler. I haven't cracked Book of Circus, which I said I really wanted to watch, but I didn't watch it. Um, this has a part two commentary, U.S. trailer and other trailers. It is says, and it says, you're invited to the Phantom Hive Manor for an event of murder and mystery. It is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack and the disc design is actually kind of nice. So Black Butler, basically all I have to say to you is J. Michael Tatum, the reason I like Black Butler. And this comes after season two, but before season three, I think. Don't quote me on that. Next up, I got Yona of the Dawn part two on Blu-ray DVD combo pack. This is a tragedy that there is no deluxe limited art box edition for this because it deserves at least a box. If Defrag can get a box, I don't know why this show, which is awesome, does not get a box. Not to say that Defrag is a bad show, because I'm watching it right now and I'm actually kind of enjoying it. But God damn it, give Yona a box. I don't like the discard, it's kind of lame. But Yona of the Dawn is sort of a reverse, but it's not really a reverse. It's like a romance. It is historical, but it reminds me of Fushigi Yugi, which is why I like it. Um, this contains episodes 13 through 24 with episode commentaries, promo videos, and TV spots, text textless opening and closings, a US trailer, and trailers. I gotta finish this. I have to finish this. It's why, like, it's one of the only things that I ordered that I needed to get right away. This again is a travesty that it's not even in a box and I don't think it will fit in the box that I have. It's Kamisama Kiss Season 2 on Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Now if you recall, the first season it came in that beautiful deluxe packaging with like the hair stick and everything. Totally gorgeous, worth every penny that I paid for it. And this just gets a crappy ass release and it pisses me off. I think I might actually be able to fit this in the box though. I have to find the box. Um, so this is on Blu-ray DVD combo pack. The discard is ugly. Um, they do have episode commentaries, textless songs, US trailer and trailers. Comics on my Kiss season two is actually a really good sequel and I am reading the manga and I'm past this now. So I can say with certainty that there needs to be a season three. Actually, why didn't they put the OVAs on this? That kind of pisses me off because there are OVAs that go with this and they're not on here. J. Michael Tatum. That's all you need to know. And then the final thing I bought from the Funimation sale is Tokyo Ghoul The Root of A. This is the limited edition because I couldn't go a whole order without buying a limited edition of something. Now, as much as I liked Tokyo Ghoul, I did buy the collector's edition of that, which I hate. I hate the packaging. I haven't even watched it because I just don't want to bother with taking it out of the box. I hate the extras that came with it. And I believe the only extra thing we get with this is that it comes in a nice box, which, yeah, this is how I want my damn anime. Just in a box like this. It doesn't have to have anything else with it. I just want it in a fucking box like this. It says Hunger Kills. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Um, I haven't seen the Root of A, so I don't know what this is about, but here's some discard. Sukiyama. J. Michael Tatum. Ooh, the 
discard is actually really nice. So I am all about this. So, so far in a, like a non-collector's edition packaging, Tokyo Ghoul the Root of A far surpasses the collector's edition of the first season. I heard that this does not live up to the first season though. When I get a chance, I'll have to give it a spin, but I, I, I haven't watched it yet, so I couldn't even tell you. Okay, and then we have this box from Right Stuff. This is the last thing I have for this pickups video and I don't know why it's so big. I think there's just a manga in here. I don't know why the box is so big though. Oh! I know what, what else is in here. I know what else is in here. Okay, first let's do this. So this is the card I got. It is the last Naruto the movie. So apparently it's ending. Finally. Here's one more thing in the box but this is the only volume of manga I got. It's Haikyuu Volume 3, which is from Viz, and it is a sports anime, I mean a sports manga about volleyball because I pre-ordered it. Came with this card for Runosuke Tanaka. And I haven't started reading Haikyuu yet. It's actually next in the box to be read, so hooray. And then this is why the box is so big. I forgot I ordered this. Ha! I was really ugly. So I bought the Attack on Titan coloring book from Kodansha. And wow, it is really ugly. Oh, but this is like detailed. So it's got like actual pictures for you to color like this. But then it also has like straight up like, like here's another picture. I hope I'm not showing you a spoiler. Um, but it's got straight up manga panels in here too. So you can color. <laughs> I say I can tighten. But now I have to go, oh, scenes, features in this book. So there are scenes in the book that actually they tell you, and it goes all the way through volume 18, chapter 74, which that's way further than I've ever been. Oh my God, there's spoilers in the back. Okay, we're, we're gonna go towards the front. Creepy, ew, creepy Titan Aaron. He creeps me out. Where's Jean? Is Jean in here? There's a big page about Levi. Look, naked Titan butts. I know you really just wanted to color naked Titan butts. Really? So I did, I did buy the Attack on Titan coloring book. We'll see if I actually color anything out of here because I have four other ones that I've colored like maybe one page out of. And that was everything for my September anime and manga pickups. As for my favorite anime and anime related song of the month, um, this is a good question because I've been trying to marathon the end of summer anime and I'm not, I don't want to like call it before it's over because I finished two and they were both favorites already and I can't remember if this one was a favorite or not so I'm just gonna say that it's B Project. <laughs> yeah it's a dumb anime about boy bands but you know what I really like it. You can watch it on Crunchyroll right now if you really want to. Um, Kento for best boy just saying Thrive is best band. I like it. And my favorite anime related song. It's really the same one from last month but I'm trying to think of another one for you. As I just killed this energy drink and it's like 6 p.m. I'll be up all night. Um, I, I, I really don't have one. I don't know where I put my phone. I can't look one up. So, um, oh, you know what? Let's do the Thrive song from B Project. So I believe it is called Starlight. If it's not, I will let you know over here. Um, but it has been playing somewhere throughout this video, the instrumental part of it anyway. And then someone goes, yeah, that one. That's the one I like. And that was everything for this video. Let me know your thoughts about what I picked up or this video down in the comments below. What should I start watching first? Should I start watching something from Disco Tech? Should I jump right into Tokyo Ghoul? I have seen Kamisama Kiss Season 2, so that would be like a repeat watch for me, but I have really been wanting to re-watch the series since I've gotten so far in the manga. I'm not done with it yet, but I'm pretty damn far, so let me know your thoughts and we'll have a little party down in the comments. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter or my anime list. My username is Palooza at both places, and until next time, love your faces! Thank you.